When I first came to work with Ashala on the level one teacher training a few years ago, there were a few things about the ethos of the Shala that really impressed me and that really kind of chimed with my own personal um, uh, approach to yoga. And one is really rooted in really a lifetime's practice of yoga, really dedicated, really um, sincere personal practice, huge amount of knowledge, really excellent content but also delivered in a very down to earth, very friendly way with a lot of humor, a lot of um, warmth and uh, friendship and just very easygoing. And as well, real uh, respect for the tradition of yoga, but also real openness to all the new exciting science that's come along, all the new different ways to understand our movement practice, our meditation practice and the philosophy. So for me, it was just this blending of the real old traditional and the new, the science and the community, the real warmth and friendship of the community. And for me, all those things kind of sum up the ethos of the Shala. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you, Melanie. So, you know, it is an environment where, you know, we're going along with the students and, and exploring these practices and, and taking it forward. Um, you know, it is an adventure and you know it is based on a very much community and based on um working together with humor with joy and um you know with integrity also and not being stuck in methods but exploring new ways of doing things and and being open you know being open to different views and different ways of doing things and i think the shala is very much based on that the openness the kind of willingness to go in different directions to explore and to and to try new things and you know with the basis of what's come behind but it's, it's important that that it's you know it's an it's it's moving forward it's moving in a direction where you know we're going with change we're going with um moving along with what we're what what is new we're dealing with contemporary yoga and it it is um, a practice that is moving forward and we're interested in working teaching students um, who are taking this practice forward um, I, I mean we look at we look at the history and we look at the philosophies and we look at where it comes from um, but we're really interested in what is happening now and how yoga is changing and how our societies and our needs are changing in present day. So th these courses are very much designed um, to look forward and to fulfill the needs for these teachers to, to bring this practice forward because it a, a, it's, a, it's a big ex experiment. Um, and so this experiment, um, we just give the tools to, 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 and we, and we discuss and we explore these different things to, um, provide, um, a toolkit for, for a way forward with this practice. We have a wide variety of, 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 of people coming from all walks of life, um, I think what brings them to, to, to the shala is the the quality of, of, of the teaching and the experience. Um, it, 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 most most of all the teachers that we we have uh, on the course are, are are practitioners and they have you know a strong asana practice, but then at the same time they're very specialized and um, you know a lot of knowledge in, in what in what they're teaching. Um, so the quality is, 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 is just based on a, a, a lot of research and a lot of, you know, hard, hard graph, hard, hard work that's, you know, gone along with the teachers. Yeah, I think our vision was to put together a team of people who are experts in their field, who are really passionate about what they do, really know their stuff but also can really communicate it in a way that's really accessible and, and engaging and interesting and fun. So we've chosen people who, like I say, know their stuff, 
are brilliant communicators and that we like that will join our community that kind of fit with our ethos and, and the way we want to um, share the yoga practices. So it's an amazing team. Yeah, they, they're all, you know, they, as I say, they're all practicing asana practice, most of them, and, and they, you know, and then they are, they're specialized in their different fields and, and bring to the table, you know, that knowledge combined with no, with having this relationship with us and, you know, all doing the same thing. You know, there's an independence, but then there's the, the, the you know, the group or the community that they come into. Um, so we're all on the same page and we're teaching, you know, sort of, it just works well together, molds well together. All the courses, all the studying completely sort of intermingle. So it's not just broken up into set segments, it's moving together, moving, you know, as one. So our idea was that a level one, 200 hour teacher training is a brilliant starting point, but it is just that it's a starting point. And to really deepen your teaching, to really find who you are as a teacher and to, to be able to, to maximize what you have to offer, I think you really need the level two. And what our vision was, was to put together a level two that's modular. So there's lots of smaller courses that you can put together so that means that you can choose your own course, you can specialize in the things that you want to specialize in. And also you can do it when you've got the time and when you've got the money. So it's in incredibly fe flexible. It means we can have a huge team. We can offer courses all year round. We've got a blend of in-person, in-studio and online. And actually that was one of the things we rolled out the course at the beginning of lockdown. And so that was a bit, you know, we'd worked so hard to get the course together and then suddenly we were just about to launch it lockdown. So we kind of reluctantly put it online and found that it actually has things about it that are brilliant, that it opened it up to students who are all over the country, in fact, all over the world. We've had students from America, from all over Europe. And it means people who are maybe got kids or have got work commitments and couldn't make it all the way to London to be in the studio for the four days can do it from home. So although we are going back in studio and, you know, I think nothing replaces the in studio connection that we are keeping the elements of the um, online recordings and also recordings that people can access themselves. So they have access to the material after the course and they can revisit it and relook at it. So that's been an amazing thing, actually, learning process for us about lockdown that's made the course so much more flexible and so much more accessible to people. Yeah, so we put we we've put a lot of thought into this um, into this in these, into these courses and, and thinking about it and, and and trial and error. And I think what's as Melanie says, the, the flexibility of it, the, the you know, sort of the, the, the all different aspects where you can come online and in, in studio. Um, gives you up, gives you opportunities to, to kind of just keep it going, and and you know the 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 and also the, the 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 you know being able just to really immerse yourself in what you're interested in, you know, sort of to to, to if you're interested in Yin Yoga or a, a Vinyasa practice or a meditation Pranayama, you you have you know these courses just go right to the place, and you know sort of advanced studies. So yeah, it's the flexibility just, and also just the intensity, the intensity of it. I think that combination is just great. It's, it's, a, it's a great combination there. I remember one of our students, the, the feedback that he gave us at the end was that after each course, he felt like he'd been given a gift, like he had a thing that he could add to his teaching. So it's very, very concrete what we offer. I think the fact that it comes in these shorter modules means that at the end of each module i can now teach yin yoga i can now teach yoga nidra i can now really sequence in an intelligent um uh, scientific way and so after each course you have something concrete that you can take away that you can add to your portfolio that can deepen your teaching that can do something real and tangible to add to your teaching skills and i thought that was brilliant feedback it really kind of summed up one of the things that we want to give people in the in this course yeah and it also saves so much time for them doesn't it they just you know it's it, it's direct um and 
it's not just you know sort of trying to find the things that you're interested in but just having it right there uh which is you know it's it's you know and and the and the the variety of it the variety on the course so we have all you know these different directions that you can go and the choice of it you know and so yeah it's very exciting i'm, I'm you know it's it's been really good feedback also and we've just you know, I think that I can speak for Melanie, but we just really, really enjoyed the whole process. And I think we're, you know, we're on to a, a winner of a, a, a way of, of, of bringing these practices out and exploring it with students. And um, yeah, it's so exciting. Yeah, and I, I feel like it's really very firmly in integrity that we are adding value to each person's yoga teaching and to the yoga scene as a whole. We're kind of upping the, the quality uh, of the teaching that's out there. And yeah, we begin, as we began this this conversation, it's about going forward with this practice. And, you know, in our contemporary lives, there's been, you know, we've come through so much in the last few years. And, you know, these practices are, are so important, you know, with, uh, you know, the, the our me mental and, 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 and physical well-being. And, you know, we have a duty. And I think it's to share this and to, and to go forward with this and to, you know, and to offer this, I think it's an offering and I think people are up and running with this. So the people that come on the course really vary from people um, who've, who've done their level one teacher training very recently to people who've been teaching for, for many years. And it seems like we're, we've managed to find this, this formula that gives something to everybody, that everybody can take at whatever level they are. And I think the things that our students have gone on to do really is a testament to, to what we've been offering. And, you know, people, are, our students are doing amazing things now, you know, going into schools and working with kids and, you know, kind of anxiety around exams and people, um, you know, putting together all kinds of, uh, you know, very specialist, very things that are, that really express them and who they are. Yeah, it's um, it, it's quite it's it's very fulfilling to to see that with our with the with the past students going out into their different um, directions with this. Um, yeah, so I mean, this course is really very much directed, of course, to people who are teaching, but uh, you know, we're directing it toward people in healthcare, people working. Um, you know, with people in mental health and in in pregnancies and and you know, just getting this practice out there so that it is, you know, giving these tools to to, to enable people to 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 work more closely with with people who are in need of this after coming through these sort of quite traumatic past few years now. What we're hoping to cultivate in our students is to really empower people to find their voice, their authentic voice as a teacher. I think it can be quite uh, daunting when you're a new teacher, you feel like there's so many great yoga teachers out there and I hardly know anything and you know, why would anyone want to come to my class? But everybody has got something really special to offer and everybody's got to start somewhere. And I think what our course can really do is inspire people to to find their voice, to find what is it about me, what is my unique life experience, my unique skill set that I have something really special to offer and who are the people that really need what I've got to offer. So it's helping people really find their voice, find their confidence and uh you know find their their niche really it's like who are you as a yoga teacher and what's your special thing because like i say everybody's got one and i really like to think that we're empowering people we're boosting their confidence we're giving them concrete skills so that they can go out there into this market now that's you know very saturated and and very um in in some ways competitive but like i say there's a place for everybody. And I think that that's one of the things we really do is help people find their place in the modern yoga world. I agree with you. It's, it's finding, finding their own voice, finding their own abilities and giving them the confidence to do, to go out there and do that. Um, 
you know, we don't just want to turn out teachers who are following a method or following some sort of parrot way of teaching. And, and, you know, there's so much of that now, but we're really interested in just bringing out the individuality, the, 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 the specialness, the, the qualities that, you know, they, they have to bring into their teachings. And when, you know, when people find that, then they just, it's quite liberating. They just, I mean, it's just, you know, they understand, they can feel that, that, that there is something that they have to offer on an individual basis and that that is special, that is unique. Yeah, I think there's been a shift in the yoga world since myself and Jinji first started practicing, you know, back in those days, 25 years ago, however long ago, um, yoga was very much like, I am the yoga teacher and I will tell you what to do. This is Trikonasana, you put this here, put that there, you make the shape like the shape in the book, and that's the end of it. And that it, one of the ways that yoga has evolved and grown in the past few decades is to realize that it's not one size fits all and we can't all make the shape in the book. And that we are adapting the practice and changing the practice to meet each student where they are and to make it right for each person and to uh, support people in their lives, whatever it is they're doing physically, mentally, emotionally, maybe spiritually. And that's what we empower our students to do, not just trot out the teaching points, but to actually look at the student and see what is it that they need and how can I empower them? And it's not about teaching the student and telling the student what to do. It's about empowering the student to find their own inner teacher. And I think that's that's huge, really. And it's what part of what makes yoga so rich and so deep and so incredibly interesting, inspiring and what keeps us here 20 odd years later that it was still excited and inspired by the practice and by the teaching because it is so rich and so deep. And I think that's what we try to transmit to our students and, and empower them to help their own students. Yeah, it's, it's evolving. And that's what's exciting about this. It's just moving as we started this conversation. You know, it, the, the practice and these ways of teaching are moving forward. And, you know, this is, we just, we just have to be with that. and you can see that, that, that you know, this, with this environment, the way that the courses are going and the way the teachers are, the, 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 the ways of looking at the ethos of this is to go along with that change, to move along with it and to, you know, to, to find these methods and to, to change them and to be a part of that change. Working with Melanie and the qualities what I see, you know, it's, there's so many different things and, you know, to, to sort of, to, to, distract, to, to try to describe them all might be quite challenging, but, um, you know, I would say, first of all, the integrity and the love for the practices just shines to her. She, she's a, you know, she, she really loves what she does and it's not just, you know, just, going through uh, the motions of teaching something she goes into it so deeply and does her research does her studying and 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 bring and just makes it fresh and when she comes to, to the students to transmit this the, the, these teachings it, it comes from a very fresh and very um you know strong foundation where and the excitement of it it just it, it, it i don't know yeah <laughs> i think the email everybody go <laughs> So there is a, a naturalness and, and just a, a, a flow um, with Melanie and there's an ease to it. So you know, people don't feel intimidated with her. You know, they can obviously see that she's so knowledgeable and, um, but at the same time, there's a, you know, there's a, there's just a naturalness of a, a freedom with the way he teaches. And it's, it, the, the, people just feel comfortable around her and, um, and that what I also really see in her is that there's this, um, you know, the, 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 she is moving along with this practice. It's not, she's not stagnant. It's, she's always looking for new ways of teaching this and going and being adventurous with it and, 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 and trying new things out and, 
and it's it, it's very exciting and i always when i'm with her i always learn so much and and get inspired from her because the, the you know she there's just so many things that she's drawing upon and it's fascinating and and it is it's never it's never um it's never the same I, yes, very similar about Jinji, really, that he he just embodies yoga, really, that, you know, it's been such a huge part of his life for so long. He lives it and he breathes it and not in a really kind of holy, you know, sort of spiritual way, just in a very down to earth, human, warm way. So huge amount of warmth, uh, charisma, knowledge. Um, experience and he just loves what he does what he does and the people around him really feel that and really warm to him and warm to what he shares so it's very special actually very special community that he's created at the Shala and I feel so happy to be part of it and um, yeah that's the team that he creates around him